Hello guys, very happy to meet you again. I'm your friend in Slack. So this video is our last part about how to use Hexhog and PX4 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to connect Raspberry Pi with your drone and how to use your Raspberry Pi to control your drone. At this case, the Raspberry Pi is a comp computer for the Pixhook controller. You can find the document about how to set a com company computers at the PX4 official document website. At the beginning, you have to set up your hardware. I mean, you have to connect your Raspberry Pi with your drum. So, how do you do it? In my opinion, you have to buy a USB to PFDI on winter. It may look like this. This chip has two ends. One end is for the USB input, and another end is for the RXD TXD output or input. It's a bridge for linking two different interfaces. And as you can see, the USB part is connected to the Raspberry Pi, and the RXTX part it is connected to the controller to the flight controller which is Hexhawk and it is connected to the teleport one in my machine. You can find the details at the document. Here it shows how to connect the two different parts one by one. Despite of that, you have to also set some parameters at your PX4 software. For example, you have to set the Marv Zero Configure to Tele1 since we have already connected the Teleport 1 to the Raspberry Pi. And you can you, you have to also set the Marv Zero mod to onboard mod. Because that's what we do. We want to use the Raspberry Pi to control our drum. We are almost done. Now there's only one thing left to, for us to do. We have to use software or script or whatever you call it to control it, to control the real drum. To do that, first you have to run the two commands here at your Raspberry Pi. It will allow you, your Raspberry Pi to use a USB without ROT permission. Then let's log into the Raspberry Pi. By using this command, connect SSH Pi and with your local address. Okay, now we are in. You know, by only connect the physical line is not enough. You have to also set the software. Here, I mean, how to uh, convert your UDP parquet to the several line. Well, you have to use a tool which called uh, Marprox. This is a software uh, to control uh, to convert your UDP parquets to the several line information. So, um, by using it, uh, you can uh, send the UDP parquet from the Raspberry Pi to the drum. The drum won't be able to uh, receive the UDP parquet uh, directly. So you have to do this conversation first. Now let's have a look at the connect uh, command. Marprox.py master equal to devs tty usb zero. And the output is the UDP local address with the port 14540. So with this command, if you Execute this command, the drone will be connected, as you can see in the printing message. There has two ways to control your drone. One is through the relative location or global location. Another is using the velocity. The condition one, if you got the GPS chip or you got the GPS available, you will be able to use the relative location or global location, as we can say in this script. 
in this mode, you can set uh, the exact distance that you want to move to different uh, directions. It is good, but sometimes you don't have that uh, GPS data available. For example, if you are only flying your drone in indoor. So in this case, if you fly your drone at indoor, you can only use the optical flow camera. If it is true that you can only use optical flow camera, well, that means you can only use one method to control your drone. That is using the velocity. In this mode, you can no longer uh, define how long you want to move in each direction. Instead, you have to, to you have to define the velocity. I mean, you move uh, how long you move per second. Now I'm going to show you how to do it in the real world. First, I had to use the remoter controller. Use the remote controller to. To arm this drone first. Okay, now the drone is armed. What I have to do is run the command, run the script or the command. Okay, now we are ready. As you can see, the drone starts to fire. Yeah, as you can see, it, it just stopped when the uh, script has stopped. So it's it's uh, um it's very amazing that we can use the script to control a drone. Uh, to be specific, to use the Raspberry Pi to control a drone. That was cool. Uh, okay. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.